Hey, this is Presh Talwalker reminding you to mind your decisions. A viral math meme claims that 9 plus 10 is equal to 21. This is clearly not true in the decimal base 10 system. But what if the numbers on the left were in base x and the number on the right was in base y? Could you find values of x and y that make this equation true? Pause the video if you'd like to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn the solution. Before I get to the answer, I want to go over an important part of mathematical history, so bear with me as I read Wikipedia. The most commonly used system of numerals is the Hindu-Arabic numeral system. Two Indian mathematicians are credited with developing it. Aryabhat of Kasumpura developed the place value notation in the 5th century, and a century later Brahmagupta introduced the symbol for zero. The numeral system and the zero concept developed by the Hindus in India slowly spread to other surrounding countries due to their commercial and military activities with India. The Arabs adopted and modified it. Even today, the Arabs call the numerals which they use Rakam al-Hind, or the Hindu numeral system. The Arabs translated Hindu texts on numerology and spread them to the Western world due to their trade links with them. The Western world modified them and called them the Arabic numerals, as they learned them from the Arabs. Hence, the current Western numeral system is the modified version of the Hindu numeral system developed in India. So how did the idea spread to Europe? It was in part because of a book Fibonacci wrote Liber Abaki in 1202. He called it the modus indorum, or the method of the Indians. Until this time, Europe used Roman numerals, making modern mathematics almost impossible. The book thus made an important contribution to the spread of decimal numerals. The spread of the Hindu-Arabic system, however, as Orr writes, was long drawn out, taking many more centuries to spread widely, and did not become complete until the later part of the 16th century, accelerating dramatically only in the 1500s with the advent of printing. This is tremendous! Fibonacci shared one of the most important discoveries in mathematics, and yet it took hundreds of years to spread through Europe. I like to point this out whenever people think the base 10 system is just natural and something we would have developed from 10 fingers. It's not something so obvious, and we should credit the mathematicians who discovered it and appreciate its entire history. So now let's solve our problem. Each of the numbers on the left is in base x. 9 in base x will be equal to 9. We now convert 1 0 in base x. This expands to be 1x or just x. We now expand 2 1 in base y. This will be 2y plus 1. We now simplify this equation. We subtract 1 from both sides, and then we divide by 2, and we further simplify. So we have the equation y is equal to 4 plus x over 2. But not all values of x and y will work. Remember we're dealing with number bases, and standard number bases are positive integers. Furthermore, we have x over 2. In order that y is an integer, we're going to need x to be a positive even number. There's one more consideration. We have 9 in base x. Typically, we would use the digit 9 if our base is at least 10. We wouldn't use it if our base is 9 or less. So we now consider possible values of x and y. The smallest value of x could be 10, which would mean y is equal to 9. And this is a true equation. We now increment by 2, 12 and 10 will be another valid solution. We can then increment x by 2 again and we get another value for y. And we can continue this process indefinitely as long as we have x and y is equal to 4 plus x over 2, this will be a valid solution. So at first glance, 9 plus 10 is equal to 21 is just a false equation and there's no way that you can correct it. But if we think about number bases, there are actually an infinite number of ways that we can make this equation true. Remarkable! Thanks for watching and for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. 
Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.